Good evening, Your Excellency. Hi, Commissioner. You're welcome. Hello. Uh, thank you. Fiona has gone to bed. Actually, it's you I came to see, Excellency. Is that official business? I prefer not to do official business at home. I don't want to create this fiber of um, attending to official business in my private residence. Um, Your Excellency, there's nothing that cannot be discussed here. Okay, since you're already welcome, uh, do you have any problem with the dam project? On the contrary, Your Excellency. The international firm that um, eventually won the contract of the award of the dam project sent this little token as a form of um, appreciation. So how much do you have in there? Um, Two million dollars. I assume you have show appreciation to the other commissioners who approved the post contract. Certainly, Your Excellency. Um, we all got five hundred thousand dollars each. Mm. I see. This is appalling. So you connive with foreigners to defraud the government and waste so much money on gratification. Oh, no wonder the commissioners wanted me to approve it. They were giving me pressure to sign it. You are all thieves. Oh my God. Your Excellency, far from it, okay? I it's not going to affect the execution of the contract in any way. I'll personally make it a duty to supervise and make sure everything is... Rick one. I am cancelling that contract. And I'm giving you two weeks to retrieve all the monies and send them back to government coffers. If you don't do that, I will report you people to the Economic and Financial Crime Commission. Your Excellency, just a little appreciation. Get out of my sight now. I can't believe this. Just few months in office and he's already receiving kickbacks. This Sir. is a high level of corruption. Four million dollars can construct two roads between two towns if properly evaluated. Do our carriage ways, my dear. So you can now see why Fiona was so keen on pushing her lover boy into the position. I'm sure this is her prompting. Please do that. Please. Excuse me. Richie. You're not giving up on all that money, are you? You heard what the governor said. You shouldn't have brought it here in the first place. You know, I thought making returns would put me in his good book. Now you know better. You see, the man is such a stupid novice in the rule of the game. Anyway, I really don't blame you. At least you don't know him much. You know, I feel so stupid now that I have to return the whole money. No, you don't. Richie, what's wrong with you? What he doesn't know won't hurt him. We keep the money. Oh, baby. That's so smart and intelligent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just call me later and give me my answer. Alright. All right. Sure. Bye. Bye. Take care. Quick day, Excellency. I don't have prior notice of you coming here. Actually, I came to apologize for my naive miscalculations the other day, sir. I thought it's not in my character. Your actions have spoken otherwise in much volumes of you. Actually, I was misled by my more experienced colleague, Commissioner, Your Excellency. You must do well to understand that everyone answers for his own action in this in the, uh, administration. It will never happen again, Your Excellency. I intend to make sure of that without you saying it. Have you returned the money? Um, not yet, but, but very soon I'll make sure I return all the money back to the government coffers. To be in your own interest, Commissioner, you will let your cause know of that. Certainly, Your Excellency. You are a very lucky young man who had a head start among your peers. 
with this appointment, you will have a bright political future. So keep your head down and have a good reputation for yourself. Money is not everything. Corruption can destroy you quickly. I understand, Your Excellency. Thank you very much for the advice. I want to take a fresh air around the pool. Would you like to join me? Uh, maybe later, sir. Okay. And I want to see if you're... Thank you. Me too. You were supposed to come to my place. Yeah, I know. I I couldn't get off too many eyes watching me. Uh, you know, even the first lady yet. Yeah, that's it. And I have to be careful so I don't blow my chances. I understand. So, have you made the lodgment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five hundred thousand. <laughs> Richie, what's going on? It was supposed uh, to be fifty. Hey, hey, baby, not so fast, okay? This is my stake. I'm only being magnanimous here, okay? We start splitting fifty-fifty when you become the first lady huh? and start influencing things around you. Come on. Now we use a lot of things. Ah, oh, Fiona, I never knew you stepped out. Yeah, but we just went out to pick something. The young man is waiting for you inside. Huh? The one you imposed on me to be made a commissioner. Oh, Richmond. Excuse me, Dad. Hey, baby. <laughs> you know, I, I waited for you like a tennis. Mm -hmm. You're dead? I'm happy with you, Mr. Chad. Well, I'm here now. Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. Us. You've made your face kind of scarce on campus lately. What's up? Come on, easy. Take it easy. It's me now, oh. Sasha. Oh. Come on, don't you forget it. Tasha, come on. Hey. It's me now. I'll pay the money, okay? It was a nice stretch of exercise. Now to pending business. I hope our money is ready now. For us to be stretched this much. I beg you girls, I don't have that kind of money now. <laughs> Ab again didn't include this sort of stupid excuse. I promise I'll pay up. Of course you've got to pay. I have to stay close to the wedding, especially without your little baby girl breathing down my neck. Oh, who's my baby girl? Come on, I only use Fiona as a pawn to get the commissioner's position. You've always been my baby girl. So. I know, but Richie, you operated in secret for too long. Yeah. You know, that's what has brought us this far. Yeah, well, that's the good part. Everything is falling into place. And 
see all we need now is just for the wedding and then everything is accomplished yeah i just hope you you wait for me of course i'll wait for you i mean four years is not too long a time not to wait besides i don't see him going beyond the first tenure mm. god i love you oh baby i love you more <laughs> so malicious. Dad, I'm not being malicious. I know what I saw. Fiona, you're such a terrible liar. I don't mistake my silence for foolishness. God! God does not try to maintain a calm relationship with you in this house. But what I will not take is you if it's such disgraceful life against me. Alicia, you are nothing but a treacherous chameleon. Tell me, for how long has it been going on between you and Rachel? Fiona, don't you dare say hey, it's all right. Me. Don't you dare say it It's all right, my dear. <laughs> it's all right. I am so disappointed in you. Fiona, even after helping such a degenerate secure a position in my cabinet, you have the effrontery to lie and cook up such malicious... Dad! Shut up! I wouldn't have believed you of all people could bring an outsider to sabotage my administration. Get this clear. I will not compromise my conscience and I will not be party to the losing of the state treasury. Step up your game, right? You want to bring a discard between my dad and I. Alicia, you are warned. Oh, please shut up and stop <laughs> making a fool of yourself. See, Nick and I are going to be having a state wedding by next month. And I'm not going to allow a change like you stir ripples in my dream. Uh uh, it's not possible. What dream are you talking about, Alicia? Is it a dream with Richmond or with my dad? <laughs> Fiona, the truth is. You were never good enough for rich man. And your dad, he must be really stupid to think that I, Alicia, will waste my youth and on an old hag like himself. <laughs> I'm sure stupidity does run in your family. You are stupid. How dare you! How dare you! The next time we meet, you regret. You shut up your mouth, you stupid thing. It's a good enough. Yeah, you can go. Help me decide whether to climb a hill or shot. You ordered your chief of staff to confiscate my condo. What for? Your wayward attitude has gotten overboard these days. You have become uncuffed, corrupt, and irresponsible arrogant. This our new position has gotten too much into your head and you need to be checked. This morning you almost created a diplomatic crisis between us and our brother state. What's this rubbish, Jolie? That's Memuna, the visiting governor's daughter. Of course, carrying the deputy governor's daughter is of no skitty threat. My instruction was that you clear the entire plaza to the later. Your Excellency, I strongly advise we avoid any diplomatic role with her state. Keep your unsolicited advice to yourself. Excellencies, you have to leave now. That's a big joke. I came here to shop and I'll leave on my own time. Look here, girl. I don't care who governor's daughter you are. This is my sister. Nobody shops with me here at the same time. You better pack yourself. You're full of yourself, aren't you? Ignore the ranting ants, Mamuna. 
Hmm? She's just a scarecrow trying too hard to imitate life. Did I just hear a rat quack? I guess that was not directed at me, Deputy Governor's daughter. Look at this limbless cockroach. Hmm? Who do you think you are? Because you suddenly find yourself in oversized shoes that do not befit your gutter status. I can see you dying with envy of my oversized shoe. I guess it really pinches so hard that you can't even fit yourself into your own undersized shoe. Thief! That's what you and your father are. Rather than stoning mandate. If my father is a thief, then yours is a bigger one. I can't believe this. Oh, shut your big mouth. Jolie, throw them out. I dare you. Fiona, I dare you. It's an order, Jolie. Guys, there won't be any incident. Kindly escort the excellencies back to the governorship lodge. I think it's time we get out of here, your excellencies. I'm not leaving. Now, listen up. Don't you ever murder in the affairs of this government. You are just a daughter of the governor and not a member of my administration. Your administration, Dad. <laughs> oh, my world, what a laugh. You don't even know how you ended up in this position. Don't you dare talk back at me, Fiona. You know what? I think it's high time you get to know the truth. You. You're sweet. Mm hmm. Lovely. Mm hmm. You're just everything. Ah, you killed me. <laughs> I will never forget this day. Mm hmm. This special day with you alone. Mm hmm. I wish you would not live here. <laughs> <sighs> So we'll be here till... Till eternity? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Come on, Angel. Come on. Now, what's the problem? I want a definite answer to what we discussed the other night. Angel. I thought I told you what you are asking for is a complete mirage. Arnold, I can't keep hopping from one place to the other with you when I don't have a concrete benefit. No, don't say that. Look, I give you good money. I bought you a house right here in the choicest district of the federal capital. You know what, Arnold? All men can do that. But there's one thing I want you to do for me. I want you to make my dad the governor of the state. Frankly, Fiona, your stubbornness cannot make your father the governor of the state. Look, he's not in the game. He's not even known. The number one position is made for time-tested, powerful, influential politicians. Men with timber and caliber. Men who can be stride on the local and international political arena with great international recognition. Look, I have thousand and one of such men in my party and they will tear your father apart if he dare rear his head. Look, forget about it. You mean like the way you tore apart Chief Clifford Wavery, the governor's best friend, when he dare contested against you the party chairmanship position? What do you mean? Arnold. You easily forget things when you're carried away. Chairman. Just for insurance. I have our love nest bugged and the planning and the situation report of Chief Clifford Wadley assassination all recorded in here. You? You? I'll forget that. <laughs> Make my father the governor of the state or the governor of the state get a copy of this tape before the public gets to know it. You can't imagine how many gory details I have of you on tapes.
You do know who you are blackmailing? Blackmail is just a criminal word, Your Excellency. I'm only again on behalf of my father. Really? How stupid you are! You imagine I allow you to walk out of this place with such incriminating exhibit against me? I know you're too crazy about me to allow any harm come to me. Besides, even that stupid, your lovely wife and your two kids will get to find out that the lavish position they're enjoying now was paid for with the ritual sacrifice of your first son. Get out of this place now. I will. But don't forget the state party primaries is very soon. Your Excellency. On two other important caucus members, Dad. So don't sit here telling me about your administration. You're a prostitute just like your mother. I don't like you comparing me with my mom. You know what, Dad? My mom didn't get you the governor's position. I did. And you know what, Dad? Just make sure you don't leave any gory details of yours with that Alicia girl so that she doesn't come back blackmailing you with that in future. Excuse me. Look, don't allow the burden of a naughty girl weigh you down like this. Huh? See, seriously, I have forgiven her for all the insults and embarrassment she melted out against me. Although I'm really surprised that Fiona has turned out to be this troublesome. Baby, remember you are the governor. And you have the problems of the nation upon your shoulders. You just have to stay focused. Hmm? Don't let anything weigh you down. You are right. I made a terrible mistake in the first place getting involved with you. The same terrible rotten things my daughter did and getting me into office, that's the same thing you're doing. I thought I knew her. I thought I could know you, Alicia. I I I I I I I I I I don't I don't understand what you're talking about, Nick. Your excellency. Miss Alicia, I am a shit of Leave this place this minute and don't ever step your foot here whilst I remain the governor. Nick. Nick. Good day, Excellency. You sent for me. Mr. Thomason, have you returned the dam project sum back to government coffers as I instructed? Um, your, your Excellency, I was planning to... I asked a simple question. Um, 
Not exactly, Excellency, but I hope to. Of course not. I have an investigative report that $22 million managed to find its way to a foreign account you opened a few months after you were sworn in as the commissioner. This needs some explanation. You will agree. I can explain, Your Excellency. Not to me. Julie, hand this criminal over to the Economic and Financial Crime Commission. They have a very interesting file on you. This way. Your Excellency. allow you to carry on with this negative way of handling the affairs of this administration. Things have to change. You have to adapt a positive approach that will be beneficial to everyone. With due respect, Mr. Chairman, you have been running round circles all day. Go straight to the specific grievances. You are making this administration highly unprofitable to all of us, Mr. Governor. How? Don't you receive your salary and allowances on a regular basis? Or are the government ministries not getting their duly appropriated allocations? Or is the will of government in any way threatening to a grant to a halt? You know that is not our point. There are special benefits that should be accrued to the doctors and very special personalities in society that you presently constitute a stomach block to. Oh, so my determination to run a prudent and transparent administration is sending jitters down the spine of corrupt elements who have held this state to ransom for far too long. Did you just hear him? Mr. Chairman, did you hear what he just said? <laughs> he is now insulting us. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all, Mr. Governor. Look here, Engineer Manfo. We did not put you in this office to play the Holy St. Michael with us. There were legion of good spirited men lined up for the job and you knew it. You are supposed to deliver the dividends of democracy to the Godfathers that sacrificed so much to put you in here. The only dividend of democracy I owe to anyone is the one that I'm working hard to be delivered to the people who troop out to vote me into office. Don't you dare us, Mr. Governor. Otherwise, we'll set into motion the machinery that will immediately ensure to your impeachment. Mr. Chairman, I am aware of your stinking gory transactions you had with my daughter. I suggest you set in motion that impeachment machinery for I intend to do inquiries about your assassination of your SY political rival. Get out! Get out! And as for you, Mr. Deputy Governor, you will either give me your full cooperation or you resign because I intend to run an administration with probity and no amount of threats can change it. Get out!
Done. There's something I want to tell you. I... I know you have every right to be upset with me. I mean, it wasn't in place for me to do all those terrible things in getting you the governorship position. Talk less of imposing that's come by rich one of a guy on your administration. I am so sorry, Dad. You have no excuse for the terrible things you did. So with me. I guess the only way we can make up for them is to ensure the responsibility it has thrown out for us to lead this great state is properly utilized. I love you, Dad. I love you, Fiona. <laughs>